lazy and cowardly men are worthless to society. Lazy and cowardly men. I was watching a recent video and this video sparked this video for me to make this video, right? And I need to stress to you guys how important it is for you guys not to be cowards and for you guys not to be lazy. So before we get too far into this video, go ahead and hit the like button. The likes are free, uh, low effort. I'm gonna give you guys a second to like, hit the like button. Comment your thoughts below on this subject. If you guys wanna support the show or support the channel any ways you can, all the ways you can do that are in the description below. So why are cowardly men and lazy men worthless to society? Well, those two men are worthless even to themselves. Let's start with laziness, right? What can you do with a lazy person? Nothing. You damn near have to force them to do everything. They have to have somebody over their, over their shoulder telling them and pushing them along every day. Lazy men do not work hard when it's time to work hard. They are unprepared. So think about it like this, right? You guys are in a family. And for whatever reason, I don't know what woman chose you, but for whatever reason, a woman chooses a lazy guy, right? She just put her whole family at risk because lazy men are not prepared when it comes to hard times. Lazy men don't put in the work. They don't put in the effort it takes to look, to have a presentable land, establish a perimeter, right? I mean, you guys see it when you walk when you have when you go through your neighborhoods, right? The lazy guys are the ones that don't mow their lawns. Right? That's a symbol of lazy. What can you do with lazy? You can't, you're not worthy in the army. There's no lazy people in the army. Lazy men and families put their families at risk. When things get tough, you're a lazy worker. Nobody likes you at work. Like, where do you fit when you're lazy? Nowhere. Don't be lazy. Find something to do. Be a asset to society. Be, asset, be an asset to your family, right? Even though busyness and productivity are not the same things, I would much rather you be busy about nothing than just be sitting idly, right? So let's get into cowardly men, right? Cowardly men. Oh, man. Guys, <laughs> do not be cowards. Cowards don't have any, don't get any respect in a society from women or men. As a man, there's a, there's a point in life where you have to stand on your 10 toes. There's something in life to where you have to stand up for yourself. Right. But cowardly men run away from confrontation. Speaking of con confrontation, I was reading a book recently and you guys want to know really what confrontation is. It's just honesty about what you want. Hey, man, I want that. No, no, we're going to give you this. No, I don't want that. I want this. You can keep that. I want this. Hey. I got to go. I got to get around you. I, can you move? You got to move your car. No, I, I can't wait. This, You know what I'm saying? This how you, That's how confrontation works. It's just honesty about your moves. You got to get around and do something. You, you're trying to 
achieve something and something's in the way. So you got to move it or tell somebody to move it or tell somebody it's not, they're not doing good enough, whatever it is, right? What position you are. That's confrontational. Cowardly men don't have that ability, right? And in society's past, cowardly men raised women. Cowardly men were basically eunuchs. Cowardly men, you know, back in the Spartan society, do you guys realize that cowardly men would have to give up their seats to real men and women and children that displayed more heart than they did? They would defend the women. They basically a eunuch, right? A eunuch is somebody where they cut your your um your ball sack off. You couldn't have children, right? Because you were alienated from society. You were basically isolated and alienated, right? You got to pay fines because you were cowardly. I mean, it was just all bad. All bad. Cowardly men aren't good in any aspect of any team. Right? When it comes to establishing a team of men, a gang of men, right? An organization of men. If you have a cowardly man in your organization, your organization is going to crumble. All of you have to be brave and strong and masculine and do what it takes to keep pushing forward the envelope. Guys, do at all costs. If you don't get anything else out of this video, just do not be lazy and do not be cowardly. It's just better for you to take the loss of getting your ass kicked. It's just better for you to get fired because you said the wrong thing. You can find you another job. You know, you, your, your, your wounds can heal from that hit. You can go learn to fight. But guys, cowardly guy, nah, we, we don't rock with that over here. Lazy guys neither. Both of you are... Problems to society, problems to your families, which is why you don't typically supposed to get a family, right? But since we live in this goofy society where women just pick all types of stuff, they'll pick bummy guys like this. When in past societies, you had to be actually be a man to get a woman because the women had high standards back then. Which lets you know how how our society is declining once again because the standard of masculinity has dropped. Hell, we don't even know what a man and woman is on this in this freaking society that we live in, right? Men are supposed to be productive. Men are supposed to be protectors and providers, right? You can't be a protector and a provider if you're a coward. You can't be you can't be a protector if you're a coward. You can't be a provider if you're lazy. They don't go hand in hand. Lazy men are unattractive and a nuisance and they're in the way. So don't be lazy. Don't be cowardly at all costs. If you're a man. That's my video. Go ahead and like the video. Comment your thoughts below. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you like my channel. I appreciate you guys watching to the end. If you guys want to support the show, support the channel in all the ways you can do that are in the description below. I'll see you guys in the next one. And we're out.